Oh, your Fox Carolina first alert weather. Good morning, everyone. Yesterday was truly a Monday. It just felt like a Monday when you looked outside the window, when you stepped outside. I mean, it was cold. We had highs in the 60s. A lot of us even just ended up in the upper 50s. GSP Airport came in at 59 degrees for the high temp yesterday. It was gray, but today we have changes on the way. So good news, we have a big change too. Temperatures jump a good old 20 degrees for the highs. We have a low 80 for many of us today across Greenville towards Spartanburg, Union, Prosperity, Anderson, or the mid to upper 70s too. So no matter where you're at, you're going to be much warmer than yesterday and much sunnier too. I can promise you that. A little bit of cloud cover out there at times today, just high level clouds out there not doing much. So you're still going to be able to soak in a lot of sunshine and probably want the sunglasses too. Too. If you're going to be driving around today outdoors in general, that sun's going to help us warm quite a bit going from the 50s to the 80s or upper 70s for many of us throughout the day. Upstate showing that nice increase in temperatures by noon in the upper 60s, so not too bad. Tonight into tomorrow morning, still holding on to those mild temperatures, and that's going to be a trend we see for the next couple of days. So tomorrow morning, waking up to even some warmer temperatures. May even just ditch the jacket tomorrow morning. Don't need it at all. Could also be waking up to some patchy fog, though, so drivers keep that in mind if you're going to be heading out tomorrow morning before daybreak, too. Four-day outlook here showing that nice little bump up in temperatures that we have before we get smacked back down to highs in the 60s and 50s, even into the holiday weekend. So what we're looking at here today and tomorrow through Thursday, we have a nice rise in highs. A lot of us reaching the 80s, kind of feeling like summer on Wednesday, right? But then it says, hold on, not quite yet. On Thursday, we do have that storm chance coming in with our next frontal system, and it's just going to stick around and just be hanging out throughout Easter weekend, bringing us rounds of showers potentially, Friday evening being one of them, and then that cold front bringing in the much cooler air, taking our highs from the 80s to the 60s and the 50s over Easter weekend. So we could see just a chance for some showers and thunderstorms Thursday evening. This looks to be our first real at least shot at it into Friday morning too. Could be a little wet. So we want to keep the rain gear handy over the next I would say a couple of days, not today or tomorrow, but for sure on Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday too. This is where we get our widespread rain moving on in. I know unfortunately it's Easter weekend. It's Masters weekend. A lot of us will be seeing that rain into even Saturday evening could be lingering into Sunday morning. Right now it's a little too early to tell, but I think we're getting better shot at clearing on Easter Sunday, but it is going to be cold. So this is one of the bigger stories, even almost despite that rain much chillier on Saturday and Sunday versus what we have in the coming days. Highs in the 50s to the 60s, so make sure to dress for it. Whatever sort of Easter plans you have going on this weekend, you'll want a coat, most likely. So beautiful, temperatures all over the place. Beautiful to start for, you know, your seven day. You look here, we have the 80s and then the 60s and the 50s coming for us by Saturday. First alert weather day due to that cold rain. Easter Sunday, highs in the 50s for many, and then we get a little rebound into Monday, though. So this system's just taking us all over the place on a little roller coaster ride for sure as we go on throughout the week. Enjoy the warmth while we have it because that cold air is going to be coming fast. Let's get a look out.